what is the most famous golf tournament in the world really like? I'm, I'm talking about, of course, the Phoenix Open, which is, or the Waste Management Open. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to go on the 18th hole with a, on a box with someone that I work with, Kenny McElroy. And today was just unrealistic with how many people were there. It is amazing how much money is coming into this just this one event. It's literally a hundreds of millions of dollars business in a one day week. It's the biggest golf tournament in the world. And it's really a spectacle. No one there cares about golf. It's it's really a networking event. I've met some people who obviously just make tons and tons of money. One of the guys in the box today I was talking to, and because Kenny has really great things to say about the the work that I provide for him, he, this guy, he has a dog crate business. So dogs, they go in these crates at nighttime. And I was like, well, I was like, how much money can someone make from something like that? And I didn't ask him. He just told me that they're doing about $100,000 per day. And my jaw dropped. I was like, what the hell? You can make money doing anything if you know just some of the basic principles of running a business and how to scale. It's insane. Just stupid dog crates. That's all they sell are high-end dog crates. And they're doing $100,000 per day. And so those are the kinds of people who are at this event. Another one, had uh, weird enough, that I met yesterday, he had a another the dog treat business that he just sold for $650 million. That's just the people that are here. It's such a cool thing. People are flying in from everywhere basically to go to this high-end networking event. And that's exactly what it is. It's amazing that the caliber of people who are here, I it would be lying if I said I saw a single round of golf or even a single hole. You really are just talking to people and trying to gather as much information as humanly possible. And that's what I've been doing. And so most of these boxes are filled out by these big corporations. The, the box next to ours or his is the uh, Dell Technologies. And then the other ones is Cox Internet. So it's huge names that are at these things. Uh, and then Kenny <laughs> and his buddies just bought a box as well. And they're YPO group. So the people who are there are amazing. It's I, I didn't even really know anything about this tournament. I just thought, oh, it's a golf tournament. People who enjoy playing golf go to this, but it couldn't be further from the truth. The only reason why pretty much all of these people are going is because of the caliber of people who are there and the people that you meet and the connections that you make. I have a really good opportunity, not as much a business opportunity, but to a lifelong friendship of someone that I met who is just such a cool guy. Uh, he has a place down in Orange County, California, nice right on the water, right on the beach. And he said, oh, come down, spend a, a few days with me and my family. And I'm going to do that because <laughs> someone's going to be crazy enough to offer me to stay with them and their family. You best believe I'm going to be crazy enough to show up. Uh, so I can just tell that he's. I'm going to have a lifelong friendship with this guy. And you never know what kind of doors open up, which really aren't my concerns right now. It's just meeting these types of people and surrounding yourselves with them. I, one of the biggest benefits of this is it allows you to think in terms of maximum leverage. When you talk, when you hear and you're surrounded nonstop by these people who are doing literally 30 plus million dollars per year, which is pretty normal for all of these guys at the tournament and a lot of the guys that I hang out with, uh, you turn down most low leverage opportunities. That's that's the reality of the situation. I shut my brain just shuts down anything like, oh, $10,000 per month. I don't even think about that. There's zero thought, oh, if I can make 10, 20, even $30,000 a month from something, I just, it doesn't interest me if I don't see it scaling to a few hundred thousand dollars a month and to a few million dollars per month because that's the kind of company that I want to grow. And it really takes a lot of leverage or, or leverageable ca capabilities. Now, of course, that's not for everybody, but because these are the people that I'm surrounding myself with, those are just the numbers that I think in terms of. Uh, they, people always say you're the average of the people that you spend the most time with. And I, I think that's true because 
you start to think in terms of what they are thinking about. And then it really just comes down to saying no to 90% of the opportunities that you get. Because when you're around these people, opportunities come to you left and right. That That's usually just how it goes. I've been offered just this weekend, probably five different people that I could work with, but they are not my ideal clients. So I tell them that, hey, I'll give you as much value as I can, but you are not in the position of someone that I would want to work with today. And because of that, I would love to help your team out. I'd love to help you out. I'd love to get you off the ground, but I could not take you on on, on, on as real work because you are not my ideal clientele, not the person that I can really help to the highest possible degree. And they respect that a lot. If I said, oh yeah, of course I'll take your business and then I suck, that looks bad upon the person who made the introduction. It looks bad upon me. Uh, It hurts your brand reputation over the long run. But if you were just willing to say, hey, I don't need the money right now. I don't want to take any money that I can get. I just want to work with the people that I can help the most until I can find a way to scale this. That's how you really get your name out there, which is why I'm able to go to these events for free and get to meet these kinds of people. It's because I have such a good reputation in in what I'm doing. But anyway, it's like 11 p.m. I am exhausted. I was really didn't want to make this video, but I did day whatever, 123 out of 1,000. (sighs) Goodbye.